hello everyone and today i'm gonna show you how to synchronize threads and synchronization is a process that can be done in many other forms so two threads can end up accessing one variable or writing on it so if they both read the variable then there is no problem but if they write and read at same time that's the problem for us and if they write both at same time then it's a bigger problem so this is a code from my last video and that printed hello and hi randomly so now it prints hello and hi organized and that's for this code so to demonstrate process of synchronization i'm gonna write a program that counts till 15 using three threads so i have q is equal to 1 w2 and e3 so i can convert them to void star form and three id and a nice little small setup with one thread and one main thread so here i'm gonna create a for loop for and this will count till 15 so i equals 0 and i is smaller than 5 so it will run five times and he will make it 15 so this is for the loop and but first here we need to create int c and that's equal to zero and then here we can use it c plus plus and then we just see out the c and thread number so first let's see out the thread number in which position this thread got started so th dash and then int cause this argument is void we need to convert it into integer and v then c equals space and c and then end line and um, p thread underscore create and we will create the thread on different id id1 comma null for default and in this over here argument we need to pass in q because that's the first we are starting and to pass in q let's just pass it as void void star and q oh wait that was the function name sorry pass in the function name which is th and um, yeah you're done now this will start one thread which will count till five if i compile this and run this you can see it counted till five and here one c is coming cause that's because i forgot to put a space in there and now if i compile and run this that's thread one and c equals value and now i can just copy this paste paste so this will start three threads two and over here i can change this to w and this to e and this to three now you can see things messing up like this to synchronize this we are gonna lock the variable now locking the variable works like this so remember i told that more than one thread accessing the same variable causes some trouble so we use mutex and in here we just type in p thread underscore mutex underscore t and that's also like a variable so you can name it anything i'm naming it my m and then you need to start it so p thread underscore mutex underscore in it this method will initialize it and just type and my m i mean your object name so then you need to type null for default values and uh, then we need to destroy it after we create all our threads type p thread underscore mute x underscore destroy and this will destroy mute x type and my m your object name this should be your object name yeah unless you name it my m now if we run this now as you can see over here it still isn't working that well cause we didn't add the mutex over here so we need to type pthread underscore mute 
x underscore lock this will lock the variable from being accessed in other threads means the threads can still read it but can't edit it and type and your object name and then just copy this and paste it over here after you are done reading and writing that variable and type un before the lock so it unlocks the variable and now if you run this you can see thread 2 printed till 5 then thread 1 printed 6 then thread 3 printed 7 thread 1 printed 8 thread 3 printed 9 1 10 3 11 1 12 then 3 13 and so basically pr counted in synchronized manner so this is synchronization for counting but if you want to synchronize addition then you have to wait for first thread to calculate its output and then the second thread can take in that output and calculate the result so if you don't lock in this variables then all the threads will read and write at the same time and that will be a mess so hope you guys enjoyed and learned something new and that's it for this video don't forget to like share and subscribe and the video that's showing up on the screen is the most recommended for you so make sure you watch it and bye